What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a new video and as you can tell by the title, this is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills highlighters review video. So I have three of the four colors. I was kind of apprehensive to get them, getting them at first just because at this point we have so many highlighters. Like seriously, it's just kind of... It's kind of crazy how many highlighters I have at this point as like a makeup artist and a beauty junkie like together. Like that combination is crazy. So I have so much. So I was like kind of like mm, they probably look like everything else I have. But these colors are very unique to my collection which is kind of hard to say. So of the four I have Starlight. Peach Nectar and So Hollywood. So I'm only missing one, which I'll probably go ahead and get that one. Initially, I bought So Hollywood and Peach he Peach Nectar, and I said I was not going to get by Starlight and Riviera because Riviera just looks like um, Max Superb, and I've had that for forever, and I barely use it. And then this one I thought it would be too light, but I actually did a demo that you'll see later on in the video where I use this, and it actually really, really, really is pretty. I bought this one yesterday actually and I wore it throughout the mall like I tried it at the mall because I wasn't really sure if I was going to get it. It was only one left in my Macy's by the way. So I wore it around and everybody, I keep hearing some rickety noise but anyways, everybody was giving me compliments on it so I was like I have to have to have to get this. So I ended up getting this one but I really love this formula and I was not sent these like some people were so sometimes you can have a hard time trusting people's opinions and their reviews because you feel like they're just trying to sell something and push something on you but I bought these with my hard earned money and I'm here to tell you that this formula is amazing. I got mine from Macy's but you can get these from two places. You can get them from Macy's or you can get them directly from Anastasia of Beverly Hills website. That is it. Like there is no other place that you can get these. They do not sell these at Sephora. They don't sell these at Dillard's. They just sell these at Macy's and on their website so um basically what they're saying is this is like a filter for your complexion this brush on highlighter contains a mosaic of brightening powders that impart a lit from within glow the mirror compact makes on the go touch-ups easy and fail safe available in four hues honestly i'm not going to carry around my highlighter to do a touch-up once i put the highlighter on for the day that highlighter needs to stay glowing like a diamond all day like i don't take my highlighter with me but the packaging is more sturdy than a lot of other um whoo, a lot of other highlighters packaging because a lot of times because highlighters are so fragile you drop them one time and they're going to shatter and unlike eyeshadows and blushes and stuff like that when you repress an, um, a highlighter back together, the glow is never the same. So once you drop it and shatter it, it is ruined. I appreciate that this packaging is more sturdy, it's thicker. I'm honestly thinking of putting these in my kit because as much as I love Becca's, um, as much as I love Becca's formula, their packaging is not fail safe. So if I had it in a kit and I broke it, I would be very upset because those highlighters are very, 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 well, they're not very, very, very expensive, but they are expensive to just be breaking like that and the packaging isn't sturdy enough. This packaging is kind of thicker, so if you drop it, I'm sure it'll be fine. I have not dropped this yet. I have dropped my Becca before and luckily mine didn't shatter, but everybody else i know if you drop it one time like it's done 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 so these aren't too bad as far as price goes these are 28 dollars each which isn't bad if you have the anastasia of beverly hills discount it does not apply to these so it doesn't matter where you get them from you're gonna pay 28 dollars if you guys saw in my haul, like the last haul or the haul before last that I posted, I want to say, you saw where I ordered these from Macy's and they had a free gift with it. The gifts, I've already put it up and I have no idea where I put it. The gift was like a little beauty bag and then also a shoe bag. You know, like when you're traveling, you want to put your shoes in there. So that's always cute. That's why I kind of like to order from like department stores because you get gifts versus if I would have ordered directly from Anastasia's website, then I would not have gotten a gift. So just make sure you look at that before you place your order. But... Let me start off by showing you guys Starlight Illuminator and it is the lightest one. This one is described as a white gold highlighter and I just absolutely love this highlighter. It's just gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of NARS's Albatross which I already have that one but this one is so much more finely milled and very smooth and creamy and I like how it feels like that really pretty finely milled 
revealed powder pretty glow it's just like a really pretty glow and you don't have to do too much work because you know in comparison to like mac skin finishes these aren't chunky like that but in comparison to the extra dimension skin finishes that mac just came out with these are very very like comparable so if you missed that on those the two that just released or if you weren't a fan of those colors i would say check these out because these are similar so then next i have so hollywood and so hollywood is bomb this is like what made me interested in them in the first place this highlighter is straight up goals and before y'all are like oh my god i'm scared of that it is gorgeous now if you are very fair it probably is going to look yellow on you but medium to darker complexions get you some so hollywood because so hollywood is beautiful and let me show it to you guys up close so as you can see it's like that really pretty light white 24 karat gold illuminator Oh my gosh, y'all. It's so freaking pretty. And I've done this so many times and the design still is there. So I wouldn't worry about that. But what's about to skip these that that's crazy i was lit i was literally literally i was slightly talking junk about them because i was like oh another highlighter no these are pretty here is peach nectar so peach nectar i definitely don't have a peachy highlight color of all of both of these this one i want to say when I put it on, it almost isn't like a highlight. I almost could just wear this like a blush topper. If I wanted to, I wouldn't just wear it by itself because it is a little bit darker because it does have that tint of peach. So it is a little bit darker on me. So I um, for as for a highlight, I think somebody a little bit darker than me would enjoy this better than I would as a highlight. But as a blush topper, it's gorgeous as well. So as you can see, these are just very pretty and finely milled. And I definitely would recommend them for anybody who is thinking about them. Even, um, I feel like the colors are very different. And so far, I'm just really, really, really in love with them. And I mean... If you're going to leave one off, I feel like you can leave off Peach Nectar. I feel like if you're NC45 or darker, then you'll enjoy Peach Nectar. But I feel like if you're like NC45 or lighter, maybe leave Peach Nectar where it is. Or go swatch it and see if you like it. But in my opinion, I feel like Peach Nectar is a little bit dark for lighter skin tones but the other two are really awesome and then if you're one of those people who know mac superb and you missed out on it like when it came out like i don't know three four or five years ago if you missed out on that and you want, really have wanted a highlighter that's like that silvery pewter tone then definitely check out uh riviera because that one is like it looks like a dead on dupe and my my macy's was sold out of it because i probably would have grabbed it yesterday with this one but they were sold out satisfied with what i have and then i also picked up this brush and the brush is a really good brush it's a nice like highlighter brush and i was really apprehensive about it because i was like I can just use like whatever brushes I always use for my highlighter but honestly I really did need to go ahead and pick this up because I didn't realize how much I needed a good highlighter brush so I use this a lot with a lot of my other highlighters and it just makes it easier to blend it out because it's the perfect size for highlighters and it's also a great amount of density so you can kind of put it on you can control it a little bit better so you can put it on lightly you can put it on a little bit more heavily I do like this brush as well and I also got this from Macy's so all in all I really enjoy these highlighters make sure you go check them out let me know if you have them and let me know if you are enjoying them and i thank you for watching this video make sure you like it if you felt like it was informative and make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below and i'll talk to you guys next time smooches bye